If you love reading or just prefer to listen, welcome to John Smeaton's Regular Reads. Sleepovers by Jacqueline Wilson. Chapter 5. It was Bella's birthday next. I'm going to have a sleepover party too, she said. Who's coming? said Chloe. I worried. We're all coming, silly, said Bella. It's going to be great. I'm going to have a huge cake. Is it going to be a chocolate cake? Emily asked weakly. No, it's not. It's going to be a big blue cake. And you don't get blue chocolate. I didn't think you got blue cakes, said Chloe. Ah, this is a special one because my party is going to be extra specially special, said Bella. We're all going swimming. My birthday cake's going to have blue icing because it's in the shape of a swimming pool. We all agreed this was specially special. Even Chloe seemed impressed. I'm brilliant at swimming. Great idea. Though, wait till you hear what I'm doing for my sleepover party, she said. What? Aha, she said. I still don't know if I can have a sleepover party, said Emily. I keep asking my mum and she says there's no point anyone coming to my house because you can't get any sleep as my baby brother cries all night. I hope she's just joking. Though she doesn't make many jokes now, she's too tired. Never mind, Emily. We don't all have to have sleepover parties, I said quickly. I'm not sure my mum will let me. Why? You haven't got a baby brother too, have you? Said Chloe, frowning at me. No, I've got a sister, but... But what? I shrugged, my heart thumping. Oh, you know, I said, though of course they didn't know. I started madly hoping that Lily might start to get a lot better so that it wouldn't be so bad. Mum said Lily was improving in leaps and bounds now she was at her new special school. Lily couldn't really leap or bound. She couldn't walk. She couldn't even crawl. But she's on her on the way to becoming more mobile, said Mum. She loves her swimming, don't you, Lily? You bob along like a little duck. Lily's special school had its own small swimming pool. Lily couldn't really swim. They just held her in the water while she splashed a bit. I can swim ever so fast now, Mum, I said. Hey, did I tell you? Bella's having a special swimming party. You told me lots of times, Daisy, said Mum. I do sometimes have to put my foot on the bottom, though, I said. I think Bella and Amy and Emily and Chloe might be able to swim a bit better than me, especially Chloe. Shall I take you swimming on Sunday morning, said Dad. Then you can have a little practice swim. That's a lovely idea, said Mum. She looked at Lily. I worried that they might want to come too. Yes, let's Dad, I said quickly. Just you and me. Lily couldn't understand, but I felt a bit mean even so. I got into her bed at night and snuggled up to her. Do you really like swimming, Lily? I asked. Lily went, er, 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 as if she really did. Well, when I get a bit bigger, I'll take you swimming, I said. Lily went, er, 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 as if she'd like that very much. I went swimming with Dad on Sunday and we had a great time. Dad showed me how to kick out with my legs like a little frog and I swam ever such a long way without putting my foot down once. Then we played jumping up and down and then Dad pretended he was a dolphin and I rode on his back. I found a special birthday present for Bella in the swimming pool shop too some super cool turquoise goggles so that she could see underwater. I didn't need goggles myself because I didn't actually like going underwater. 
I was still a bit worried about swimming, even after my special practice with Dad. But it was fine on Bella's birthday. Emily wasn't very good at swimming either, so most of the time we paddled by the fountains and the plastic palms and played we were shipwrecked on a desert island. Chloe was too busy showing off how far and how fast she could swim to bother about us. Amy was quite good at swimming too, but Bella was the best. She really was brilliant. Bella's dad called her his little water baby. Bella wasn't exactly little, but she was certainly a star at swimming. She especially loved swimming underwater, so my turquoise goggles birthday present was a big success. When Bella's dad drove us all back to Bella's house, we found Bella's mum had her birthday tea all ready for us. It was a huge tea. There were six different kinds of sandwiches. Egg mayonnaise, chicken, prawn, banana and cream cheese, bacon, lettuce and tomato, and peanut butter and grape jelly. There were six different kinds of cake too. Alphabet fairy cakes, chocolate crispies, chocolate fudge cake, blackcurrant cheese cake, carrot cake, and the special ginormous swimming pool birthday cake. It had five little marzipan girls in swimming costumes standing in the middle. It was the most special birthday cake in the world. If I'd been Bella, I wouldn't have wanted to eat it. I'd have wanted to keep it forever. Bella and I are very different. She cut it all up with a special cake knife and ate two huge slices straight off and all the little marzipan girls. Wait till you see my birthday cake, said Chloe. What's it going to be like, said Emily. Aha, said Chloe. I was sick of Chloe. I was starting to worry about the sleepover part of this party. I was sure I'd be the one left out again. But guess what, guess what, guess what? Bella's mum and dad moved into the spare room. Bella and Amy and Chloe and Emily and I got to sleep in their great big double bed, all of us in together. It was the greatest fun ever. I was on the outside, but I had Emily next to me. I secretly tucked midnight in the other side under the covers. We all got the most terrible giggles so that the whole bed wobbled. Bella had a big box of birthday chocolates and kept passing them round. Emily didn't have any. I had two. Amy had three. Chloe had five. Bella had 13. We didn't settle down to sleep for ages. And then we got the giggles again because whenever one of us turned over, we all had to. Midnight turned too, and Emily felt his furry paws. She gave him a special cuddle. He's so sweet, she whispered in my ear. I've got a little teddy called Buttercup. Well, he was a present for my baby brother, but he just chews his fur, so Buttercup's mine now. You'll see him when you come to my house for my sleepover party, if my mum lets me have one. Thanks for tuning in. You've been a part of John Smeaton's Regular Reads.